Well, what's up, everyone, and welcome to the round three recap of season one of the SBL. And for once, I'm not alone in doing this. With me today is Crimson. Hey, guys. <laughs> wow, you lagged so hard right there. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, can't always help computer problems. <laughs> Technical difficulties, everyone. It'll be fine on the recording, trust me. Anyways, round three had some really interesting matches, wouldn't you say? Yes, yes it did. Oh my gosh, everything went north and then south. <laughs> Basically. But before we get to the matches, we're going to talk about the one transaction that happened in round three, which came from Iron and the Germanian Nido Kings, as he chose to swap in Electivire for Rampardos. You can go um... first, Anderson. Yeah, I don't really, I didn't really see much into that. Um, I, I guess it could be a very good Mon, but the way he had it was, it, it was very solid Mon. It has very much potential. Um, I mean, with access to Head Smash and Rockhead. That, that's, I, I don't know if it actually gets Rockhead, actually. Well, it does it? Um, it gets yeah. Head Smash, that's all that matters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is all that matters. It, it, it's just very powerful and very all-around offensive Mon that just has power. That it is, but what I think he's gaining in Electivire... Electric types are very, very valuable in this kind of format, and Electivire, yeah. while not the greatest of electric types, is pretty versatile. Mm -mm. Yeah, but I guess you get more out of Rampardos, in my opinion, but... Well, I guess we'll just wait and see as That's... the season goes on for Iron. Yeah. Alright, and without further ado, yeah. let's go ahead and get into the matches. Alright. Alright. My match was first. The Ants United versus Zap and the San Diego Electivires. To the match, I brought Primate, Mega Agron, Latios, Victini, Glyce. Wait, I have Glyscore there. It's That's clearly <laughs> Suicune, not Glyscore. And Aromatisse. Dang, typos. I do this every time. I have at least one typo per video, and that's my one typo. <laughs> uh, okay, at least I have all his Zap's Mons, right? He has Scizor, yes. Salamence, Frostlass, Ampharos, Kabutops, and Heatran. Yes. Uh, he this time you got it. You got it this time. <laughs> Glad score the sweet coon. I can't believe I did that. But actually, I can't believe it. Oh my god. So the way the Dude. battle started out, it was a really, really weird first turn. He led off with Salamence, and I led off with Primate. He thought he was going to have it easy with Salamence getting off and Intimidate on my Primate, but no, Primate has Defiance. So he was oh. instead of being at minus one attack, he was at plus one attack. Gotta love Defiant, man. Absolutely. But, and he started with Earthquake, and I really don't know why. I mean, it did it did a great amount of damage. And yeah, looking at looking at it, Outrage probably would have okayed Primate. Yeah. Why would anybody? If you know you're going to get a kill, or you have a move that can kill, why not just go for the move? I think Zap was trying to predict me to switch into something, but I was just like, nope, Ice Punch, kill. Yeah. And from that point on, I mean, the momentum really was just in my favor. Yeah, very much. Um, with everything going from his switches to getting some really lucky hacks. Yep, hacks is very prevalent, especially in Showdown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he told me after the match that the Pokemon he was most afraid of on my team was actually Glyscor the Suicune. <laughs> Glyscor, yes. <laughs> No, but really, in seriousness, he was actually most scared of my Suicune, and to be honest, I almost didn't bring it to this battle. Mm, which would have actually been very n not so good for you, because that Suicune actually put in work. It did put in a lot of work. Got kills on the Scizor and the Kabutops. Yeah, and those are two pretty dang big threats to your team. Yep. I guess. I mean, they could have yeah, been. They could be. I mean, I had a plan with Aromatis, and I told this to Crimson earlier. Mm -hmm. About my yes. plan of Babiri Berry Aromatis, that's the Steel Resist Berry. I had my Aromatis EV well enough to be able to take two bullet punches from a Max Attack Scizor, Max Attack Technician that is, mm -hmm. with the Babiri Berry first, and then he, she would be able to take another one and then fire off the Hidden Power Fire, which you know how much Scizor loves fire. Yes, it loves it more than a worm in... I don't know where I was going with this, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know where you were either. I don't. I was trying to think of something, but it just didn't happen. 
But anyways, eventually Suicune was able to get a couple of kills, and Zap was down to just Heatran while I had everything except Primeape left, so Zap decided to forfeit the last round, which ended in a 5-1 victory for me. Yes. Alright, so next on to the round with Lux and, what was it? Piptina. Wow, Piptina. The yes. California Volbeats GG. and the Miami Manatees. To the match, GG. Lux brought Cloyster, Drapion, Haxorus, Mega Tyranitar, Miss Magus, and Zatu. And Piptina brought Embor, Smeargle, Heracross, Mega Deancey, Azumarill, and Bastiodon. Yes. Okay, it started off with Zatu versus Bastiodon, I believe. Yes, it did. And apparently Piptina forgot that Zatu has magic bounce, and after a turn tried to use Stealth Rocks while Zatu was still out. Mm -hmm. Yes. And to be quite honest, in this match, Piptina was never really able to gain much momentum. No. He's, he seemed like he had a plan at the beginning, but just it kind of fell short and he was never able to kick off. Yeah. I mean, he had a the... nice pint of beer. <laughs> With the Azumarill. Yes. Yeah, he got up the Belly Drum Azumarill plan, and it got rid of the Zatu, but it couldn't get rid of the Cloyster. Yeah. And then I think Lux, I mean, Pitina had to sack a couple of things to be able to eventually get rid of that Cloyster. Let's see, I think the Bastiodon came in and roared on the Cloyster because he was able mm -hmm. to take an Icicle Spear. Icicle but... Crash, was it? Or is it Ice Shard? Something like that. Anyways. Yeah. And then Bastiodon was able to get off a roar, and it out came Piptina's worst nightmare for the match, Haxorus. Oh, yes. The Haxorus. Hax. The Hax God. Basically. And Haxorus <laughs> was able to get... of Mo. <laughs> yeah. Haxorus was able to get up a dragon dance, and that's basically all she wrote. Yes. I mean, as we saw at the very end of the battle, the Embor was able to do a tremendous amount of damage to Haxorus with Sucker Punch, so... Maybe if Embor would have come in sooner, the match could have been different, maybe? Question mark. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I somehow doubt it, though. Haxorus was running shop on everything. Yeah. It it, it... 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 It was... It had control over the match as soon as it had a Dragon Dance. Basically. I don't think that there was, would have been any other way that he could have taken that back. Unless he had something like Whirlwind, or had access to... I mean, he Some had crazy he had, defog or something. He had roar on Bastiodon, but by that point, Hexorus was. was it, it was pretty much dead because Hexorus had earthquake. Yeah. And we all know how much how much Bastiodon loves an earthquake. <laughs> yes, we do. Yep, and that battle was a 5-0 victory for Lux. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Here. Moving on, we have Crimson's match. Him and the Arizona Arcanines versus Acat and the Columbus Chatots. To the match, Acat brought Skarmory, Slowbro, Amoongus, Sableye, Megazard X, and Umbreon. Uh, Crimson brought Infernape, Volcarona, Togekiss, Mega Manetric, Weavile, and Chestnut. And Crimson, since this is your battle, I'll let you do most of the talking on this one. Alright, so I led off with Chestnut um, and got up some spikes while he led somehow with a Skarmory and didn't do anything about that, um, which kind of shocked me. And Burn, too. Yeah, it did. Well, uh, then I led into my Weavile, which got up a Swords Dance and pretty much was a major threat, getting a few kills off really early game and just leading in me into an offensive momentum and just keeping that out through an entire match until we finally got down to his last three or two mons, which he leaded and in, led into his Charizard, his Mega Charizard. Um, which then ran shop for quite a while before being killed by a Flare Blitz. <laughs> that Flare Blitz recoil? That Flare Blitz recoil. Oh my gosh. And then by that time I had my lead and his slow bro. And you know how grass goes into water. Yeah, it kills. Somehow. It kills. Pokemon logic, everyone. It, 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 does, it never makes sense. Nothing does. Well, I guess it kind of does, but not really. It's sort of, maybe. Sort of. All right. And but either way, that kept. Well, Megazard almost brought it back for a cat, but he kind of miscalculated the amount of recoil that Flare Blitz would do on the Togekiss. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. could that have been a victory for a cat instead? Who knows? Mm -hmm. I think 
it could have been. Um, and it could have also gone in a completely different way and ended up with me in a 6-0 sweep, in my opinion. That's... If I had just played my cards a little bit better and had led into uh, Sturban instead of leading into my Weavile and going for offensive and go a little bit more defensive. Yep, but that's how things go sometimes. Mm -hmm. And the battle I, was a 1-0 victory for Crimson. Yes. Narrowly making it out alive. Yep. You escaped the wrath of the Megazard. Oh my god, that Megazard. It, it, it haunts me in my darkest of nightmares. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> that's, that thing's scary. It is absolutely terrifying. Like, I have to face Acat in round 9, and I am not looking forward to going against that thing. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bring all of the fairies. Maybe yeah, a little bit of Slurpuff. Well, Slurpuff, that's that's all 15. He can keep that thing. <laughs> let him keep it. No, I would I would very much appreciate a Slurpuff on my team. Well, someone has to, right? All what? Right. Yeah. Either way, moving on to nah, words, match four. It's Iron and the Germanian Nido Kings versus Meep and the Lumio Slampets. To this battle, Iron brought Hippowdon, Neo King, Blastoise, Sylveon, his newly acquired Electivire, and Klefki, while Meep brought Dragonite, Crobat, Jolteon, Mega Gyarados, Shedinja, and Magnezo. Hmm. Yes, and I actually think that they did a very solid team pick for these, for this. Um, both teams led out with a very strong Mon, um, Iron leading out with the Clef Key and Miley Cyrus. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, getting that um, Intimidate on the lockpick, his um, Clef Key, was, I think, actually kind of did a little bit of a something. It did something. It did something. Because it provoked Iron to switch out immediately into Hip Out on. Mm -hmm. While I and... think, I think after that, uh, Meeps. On that same turn, Meeps switched into Magnezone. Yeah. Yeah, and that... And got off a good few hits with, um... What was it? Flash Cannon? Yeah, Flash Cannon. And... Yeah, just... It... He took down the hit Paladon, and... Which was... I think it was actually a very good thing for Meep. Um, getting rid of one of the big boundaries for the win. Yeah, kind of. But... Yeah. I mean, the thing for me, which I think the thing that really did it for me this time, was that he actually got rid of Stealth Rocks on his side of the field before sending in his Shedinja. Why? Why would you forget that every single time? Who knows? Who knows? Either way, <laughs> Iron did really not have a response to Shedinja after the Sandstorm was gone and the Hippowdon was down. Yeah, well, he, he did with um, Dark Pulse um, Blastoise. He did with Dark Pulse Blastoise, but by that point, Shedinja still had its Focus Sash intact, was able to get up the Swords Dance and kill with X Scissor, I think. Yeah. He killed with uh, two X Scissor, which was very great for for Meep and getting him a 2 0 win. Yep, that was Meep's first win of the season. <laughs> After losing his first two. I mean,. That was a good result for him, especially considering in round two he lost 6 0 to me. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain that you're just going to sweep the, the rest. You, you're pretty much. Your team is pretty much set up to sweep. But that's... Maybe. Well, I guess we'll just Who wait knows? and see it as the rest of the season goes on. Yeah. And moving on to the final match of round three. It's Rock and Lightbird City versus Omega and the Philadelphia Tyranitars. To the match. Oh, I actually really like. Yeah. What? All right, and to this match, Rock brought Jirachi, Miltank, Mega Sceptile, Terrakion, Ronomosh, and Lightbird, while Omega brought Venusaur, Arcanine, Mega Blastoise, Porygon Z, Rotomo, and Mew. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I actually recommended a set to Omega that could have completely had him sweep uh, the entirety of Rock this round. But shockingly, it seemed like he was going to go with it, or it looked like at the beginning. But it just, it just didn't happen. I mean, it was an interesting idea. Yeah. Uh, what I recommended to him was a uh, Mew with. Um, with a nasty plot and a uh, rock polish to baton pass to um, his Mega Blastoise, 
which would have ran a hole on his entirety of every 11 mon that he had. <laughs> Basically, it would have killed his 6 mons and the rest of his 11. Yes. It, it, it and still had more HP to go. And yeah, basically. It, it, it would have absolutely been destructive. Yeah, I mean, Rock almost brought something back towards the end with his Jirachi as it got three kills. But yeah. I think by that point, the damage was mostly done. Yeah. Bringing in that Blastoise early game and that misplay with his... With his mill tank, kind of just set him back pretty far, I think. Actually, I think what really set the tone was the R Spear crit KO on Septile before it could mega. Oh yeah, that's right. That was that was actually pretty dang bad. And, that was massive. And Omega's counters or counter for um, Terrakion was very good and that crit hydro pump. That crit special effective hydro pump also Send him back pretty far. Yep. Pretty much taking out his major threats to Omega. Basically. And he just ran the rest of the match for that. Pretty much. I mean, it was really all Omega from the start, and there wasn't really rocket anything he could do about it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I'm so sorry, Rock. That was not your greatest match. It wasn't, but Omega has been steadily improving with each match, from what I've noticed. And this was a 3-0 victory for the Tyranitars to round out round three. <laughs> All right, and All right. go ahead. Were you going to say anything? No, I wasn't going to say anything. All right, we'll move on to the standings now. Dang it, I have another type on there. It's the round three standings, Burn. <laughs> yeah. My God, Burn. Well, as long as you don't give us a typo in our next video, we'll, we'll consider this your round four typo. Okay, close enough, whatever. It, it, I've been hanging around Rock too long. He's the king of typos as, as it goes. And I might also be one to blame with that. Yeah. God damn you, Blackberry smartphone. <laughs> I blame yep. the smartphone. Blame the smartphone for everything. It has such a shitty software for that. Right, like, the, people can, the people can see the sentence on the screen, but I'll read about it anyways. In first place is my squad, the Dancy United, with three wins, no losses, and a plus 14 differential. Oh my god, yeah, you swept too hard. I did. <laughs> I apologize to everyone I've battled so far. Alright, yeah. in second place after round three was actually Crimson in the yeah. Arizona Arcanines. Two wins, no losses, and a plus five differential. Yeah. Yep, somehow I that... don't have much to say about that. I, I guess I just got lucky. Most I of guess this. So. And third place after round three was Omega and the Tyranitars. Two wins, no losses, and a plus four differential. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. Fourth was Lux and the Volbeats with two wins, one loss, and also a plus four differential. <laughs> yep. Yep, and after his bye week, Arctis and the Green Bay Patricius are in fifth place with one win, one loss, and a minus one differential. Which I think at this point, if anybody equivalent to Ark or below actually has a fairly decent chance of getting into the... or I think anybody who has a 1-1 at this point has a chance to make it into playoffs. Oh, anybody has any chance to make it in. Well, that is true, but... Alright, and six after the round was Acat and the Columbus Chatots, one win, two losses, and a plus three differential. Mm -hmm. Then comes... Iron and the Nido Kings with one win, two loss, and a zero differential. Mm -hmm. Then comes Zap and the Electivires, one win, two loss, and a minus two differential. Sorry, Zap. <laughs> Alright, then Zappy, is Zappy pick up your game. No. I think he will, trust me. He he will. He's a very solid team. Absolutely. Alright, next up is Meep and the Lampants, one win, two loss, and a minus six differential. And then it's Piptino with one win, two loss, and a minus eight differential. And in the last place is Lyford City with no wins, three losses, and a minus 13 differential. We're so sorry, Rock. Yeah, it's been a disappointing okay. season for him, but yeah, maybe he can bring it back before the season's over. I definitely believe in Rock. Um, he definitely has the team that can. He just needs to play his cards a little bit better. 
And he will. I mean, he, he absolutely terrified me in my first match. I was... I spent waking hours just like, oh my god, what do I do about that Terrakion? <laughs> that Terrakion, though. That Terrakion terrified me. I can imagine. Alright, and I believe that is going to be it for the round three recap. Oh, all the replays will be in the description of the video, and do you have any other anything else to say, Crimson? Um, well, I'm looking forward to seeing how the rest of the season goes, and I'm... Yeah, I'm very excited. Alright, sounds good. And with that, we'll see you guys next time.